we're, we're recording. There we go. Okay. Okay. Welcome to podcast seven of Knit One Sip Two so podcast. Get closer. Get closer. We got to get closer. We got big go. old chairs here. There we go. Okay, okay. that's better. <gasps> we're we in go. Jones' backyard in Monterey, yes. California, and it's a lovely afternoon, early evening. And the dog's having fun patrolling for s- lizards. I'm Jeanette. I'm Joan. And I am Nettie Keys on Ravelry and Instagram. I changed my Ravelry, Ravelry name. Oh. Because it was confusing. You mean you changed your Instagram name? No. I changed my Ravelry. It was Riley K. Oh. And it was too confusing. And Riley K is a long story how yeah, it yeah. ever got to be that way. But uh, my name is not Riley. My name so is Jeanette. So you can change your Instagram name? You can change. Name? No. Ravelry. I mean Ravelry name? Up to three times, I think. Oh. I yeah. had no idea. It was super easy. That's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. I just changed it to match. I just thought. I think I might have seen it, but I didn't process. I just did it. So. I think yesterday. I don't know. Yeah, it's yeah. been a crazy week. So thank so. you for joining us again. Yes. This has been really fun and really fun for us to get to know you through our birthday giveaway and the the Ravelry group. We do have a Ravelry group. Oh, my gosh. Everybody on the birthday giveaway has been. It's been so fun. <laughs> so, so, okay. So. Did you read the one from Jennifer? I don't remember what her handle is, but Jennifer's in her name. I met her at um, Imagine It. I think I did. And it was so nice to hear from her. Yeah. It was just, it was great. I mean, everybody's been. That's been super fun to hear about everyone's local yarn stores. And then I realized I sounded super entitled last podcast. And I felt bad afterward because I said, we only have one local yarn store. Only one. Like, poor (gasps) us. I know. So many people have to travel so far. It's true. (gasps) And we have a great local yarn store. So, and it's two blocks from my work. So how lucky am I, right? And so I thought, oh. What a what a what a bad way of looking at it. We only have one. I mean, compared to like Minneapolis or Madison, Wisconsin or whatever, it's it's Well, I mean, most of the people, most of the yeah. posts that I read, yeah. they're traveling like I just messed up my hair. Uh, they're traveling on average thirty minutes. Yeah. I think I read thirty minutes, yeah, yeah. which is just God uh, yeah, bless so you. How I lucky mean, are we? Yeah, no. Yeah. We're, oh, what we're, do we drink total? Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Um, Joan's birthday is tomorrow. Oh. Well, today is Thursday, June 25th. So Joan's yes, birthday is tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. But probably a couple days ago based on when Gary yes. edits. Yeah, it takes him a So bit. we are drinking um, one of my favorites. So this is, wait, go this way. Caraccioli. They are a local um, winemaker, bubble maker, vineyard. Um, this is their Brut Cuvée. Um, so, love Caraccioli bubbles. Um, oops, sorry. Um, yes. They have a wine tasting room in Carmel, which is how I found them. And my girlfriend took me there about a year ago. And we decided to join their club, which doesn't cost anything to join. They just ask that you stick around for, I think it's two cycles of their offerings. And they have an offering every few months. Um, I think it's on average like three times a year, maybe four times a year. Um, and an offering includes like two to four bottles. Oh, so you have to buy wine. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> part of the, the bubbles offerings. So I get bubbles. And then the great thing is, is that a couple times a year they have huge sales. So we bought a couple magnums last year and they were 50% off. So anyway, Check so out Caraccioli. It's a great deal. And I like the fact that it's a local. I think we only have one other winery that makes bubbles, and that's Folktale. Hmm. I don't think anybody else makes bubbles. Hmm. So, and I love my bubbles. Yeah, bubbles so, are fun. Bubbles are fun. So, anyway. Are you wearing so, any knitwear? I'm not. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to put this on. <laughs> I've been running around trying to get ready, so. Okay, wait. Should I hide it and step off camera and put it yeah, on? Yeah, and I and can then... talk about what okay, I'm you wearing. Talk about it's what an you're old wearing. sweater. Okay. Uh, I am wearing Vonica by Bonnie Marie Burns or Bon Marie Burns. I knit it in, I started it in 2012 and <laughs> didn't finish it until, until 2013. Oh, I thought you were going to say like last month. Oh, no. It's old. And I bought the yarn when I was with you at Stitches in 2012. So... Uh, it's, it's an alpaca. The yarn is from Miss Babs. Um, it's an alpaca silk blend. It's got and such nice 
drape. Yeah, yeah, it has super nice drape. And so it was not a difficult knit. Um, no reason why it should have taken me a year. Um, Probably just got bored. Yeah, the, the, yeah. I And I ended up, I wear it to work. I don't, it's not my favorite sweater, but I wear it to work. Um, mm-hmm. So, and then I ended up doing, it started with a crochet cast on and I, I mean a provisional cast on, sorry. And then I ended up doing like a crochet um let me see if i can show a crochet um what's it called what's the word i want like stable to stabilize after i picked up the stitches because it's alpaca and i didn't just didn't want it to like be all stretched out yeah 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 so yeah so they don't make this base anymore miss babs doesn't Hmm. doesn't use this base anymore it's 70 percent alpaca and 30 percent silk but do you remember when we bought it all those years ago no no (laughs) and so you helped me choose the color and so yeah i I mean it's good i wear it i mean still after all these years i'm wearing it and it doesn't look bad and it hasn't really pilled that much and so yeah well and i find that if you just dunk it in that What's that wool wash that everybody uses? Eucalyn. Yes. If you just dunk it in that and then lay it flat, I mm-hmm. feel like all the fibers kind of remember where they're supposed to be and it doesn't look... Yeah, I don't think it's like you know, alpaca I know can stretch, but I think the silk content mm. has kept it, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. non-stretchy and it's not itchy at all. It's super soft. Um, it's got the pattern on the back too. Mm-hmm. Yep, there. I like and I like the hem. Wait, let me show the hem, cause it's like, is it a? Oh, it's just a um, just ribbed hem. One. Yeah, yeah, nothing fancy, no fancy. Oh, but it looked it looked a little fancier. It looked like a yeah, seat stitch it, almost. I think it started a with a provisional cast on back here, and then you, I picked up and did the neckband. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really cute. And it's got kind of a square armhole, which is weird, but it's fine. Super mm-hmm. comfy. So yeah, excuse me. The only what problem with bubbles wearing? is I burp. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. So I finished my Hohe Julie's wrap. That's pretty. Very okay. Pretty. So it was so, I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy with it. So first of all, miles and miles and miles of um, garter. Which I, I love that. That's super relaxing you know, to me. So this, I bought this yarn because I wanted something Oh, I'm like, you know how like you've knit something and you block it. And as you're blocking it and stuff, you're like, oh, look at I made a mistake there. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I bought this yarn because we were going into, sorry, we're talking about dance again. We were going into competition season and I like to sit in the theater and they don't totally take the lights out. They just kind of bring them down most of the way. So what I do is I strategically find a light over a seat. And I sit and knit while I'm waiting for my kids to come on and their teams and stuff. And but I, the other issue is is it has to be a light color. Yeah. So I Can specifically I you a minute yes. and show a little bit more of it. So I specifically bought this color. It's plucky, dreamy, plucky primo fingering in dreamy. And um, dreamy's the color. And so I the color. Yeah, fell the color in love with the color. Pretty. Um, it was peachy perfect. Pink. Yeah, it wasn't, I can't remember what size needle I did it on, but it wasn't so small, even though it's a fingering weight. It wasn't That's so small loose. that, yeah, that it was a pain to knit. It was perfect. It was just perfect to knit in the dark. Um, cause it just went on and on and on. The, the thing that did make my eyeballs cross <laughs> the was bobbles. the no the bobbles weren't half as stressful as the twist and rib oh. all the twist and rib i mean it looks fabulous it, does. it looks good i mean it it twisted rib just for those of you that haven't ever done it before i had never done it before at least not knowingly <laughs> or if i had not so much twisted rib means in you're knitting one purling one like a normal rib but instead of knitting um or purling the normal way you're knitting through the back loop so through the back leg so that all of your stitches come out twisted which gives you kind of more of a definition in the rib and it turns out beautiful but this twisted ribbing goes on and on That's a lot. and on and on so it was it was quite um so I couldn't wait for that bit to be over because I had to pay attention to it more. And you know me, I knit continental. So I'm like, well, with this, it was 
<laughs> I'm sure you twisted that one and didn't go into habit. And... It was a little stressful. So I couldn't knit as fast as I'm used to. And of course, when you're knitting scads and scads of it, you want to knit faster. But that's super so, exciting. You have, a, but, you have a finished object. Well, and I wanted to finish it for such as Midwest, because I'm thinking I'm going to need something light for air the air con, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Which I hate. So, I'm so not used to it around here. We're just we're not so used to it. Around. We don't. Yeah. We're so spoiled. So anyway, yeah. and then the baubles were fun. I'd never done a bobble before. Uh, so the baubles were fun. Again, it was like baubles. I wanted it to hurry up and be done because I was excited to get it done. But I actually enjoyed the baubles more than I enjoyed the twisted rope. So and then there's these cool little like corner pointy bits. thingies. Well, and she's got them in the middle. Oh, like that's you can cool. kind of see that one. They didn't. I didn't. They didn't come out as pronounced because I actually started running out of yarn because mm. I made mine wider. And I like her directions because she says, um, before, so when you get to the part where you're starting to make this point, because you do um, twisted rib without this point for quite some time, um, when you get to that point, she said, weigh your yarn and you need 40 grams to make sure that you have enough to get through the baubles, I think, something like that. And anyway, so she said, it it says in the direction, so she said, if you don't, you might want to shorten this part. So I had to shorten just a little bit, but it was fine. I think it still turned out great. And it's a great length. Um, It really grew quite a bit when I, when I blocked it, which was good. You you wet blocked it? I did. So I wet blocked it on my cocoa knits. Oh, I saw that on Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blocking um, Matt. And then um, there was something else I was going to say about blocking. Um, so I wanted to ask you a question about blocking. So when you block, when you wet block, do you spray or do you dunk? I dunk when I wet block. I have a hand steamer, and so sometimes I'll steam. Mm-hmm. But I do either or. So either I steam or I dunk. But when I dunk, I'm very careful to just dunk carefully. The other day I was reading something. I can't remember who said it, but said you're supposed to. Oh, let me think for a minute and think about who that was. Gary's going to put something down there now. Um, <laughs> if I can remember, that's the trick. Right, right. Um, it was... Oh, it was the Wooly Thistle audio podcast that I listened to on the way home from work. And she said, I think, I think. Mm -hmm. And she said she, um, no, no, no. I take it, I take it back completely. It wasn't the Wooly Thistle. (laughs) It was the Knitting Pipeline audio podcast. And she said she rewashed or blocked a sweater that from years ago and Anyway, she said the way you're supposed to do it is let the water take up naturally. Like, so put it on top if it's wool, all wool and mm-hmm. just let the water soak in. Oh, interesting. I, I, I know. I don't, I don't know why. I've never done that. I just, I just dunk it and let, I don't leave it for too long because I feel like it's going to lose color if I leave it too long. So, mm-hmm. eh, so I, an hour max. I think I might have done that once. Otherwise, what I do is I put my um my knitting my cocoa knits pads together it's like a a puzzle piece on the floor and then I sit there with my spray bottle Mm -hmm. and spray and spray and spray and as I was doing it you know as you're doing it you're kind of feeling the fabric and feeling that it's dry here or whatever but as I was doing it I was realizing gosh I hope I'm this is how I've always blocked Interesting. So so you don't use any soap no. Are you supposed I to? Use, n- not necessarily. I use eucalyn and I put just a little bit of eucalyn in, uh-huh. in a bin and then I add the cold water and I dunk it for just a little bit and wring it out best I can and huh. wring and it in a you, towel do, over and over towel. again. Yeah. See, I do that when, over I'm, and over again when I wash and, my, my Yeah, I do that and, and then block it but, to a certain size. Huh. It takes longer to dry. And I think yeah. in some things it doesn't matter like let me think of what I've never dunked I think it's something like that it's not as it's not as important right right because you don't want to you don't care necessarily if it's the size that 
Well, that was the other thing was that I they give you a, um, a blocking. It almost looks like a gingham piece of fabric. Yeah, yeah. And the That's... coconuts thing. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use it for the first time. And it's a square. Oh. <laughs> and so it didn't work for really this. not big enough. Yeah, because otherwise I just eyeball it. I mean, like, I'm... I, I'm coming. I didn't have time to the yeah. last thing I blocked the big right. love sweater. I didn't have time to really block it Did to the schematic. It? Yeah, it was finished last time, but I hadn't blocked it, so it really relaxed with blocking. Okay, it did changed. you bring it? I did. Okay, because I yeah. want to see it. I don't remember because I was so focused on on me and my <laughs> stores that I went to <laughs> and all the stores. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. anyway, so so I've never used. So my mother never blocked. Yeah. She never, she never blocked. She never, she never swatched. <laughs> well, you know, she just did it. And the, so, the Sunday tea, you know, the Sunday tea that I, um, I'm making that blue sweater. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah. it. But that is going to change completely after wet blocking. Yes. So in that case, yes. I would definitely wet block yeah. it. And I've never, otherwise, you know what else like, I've never done? I've never like knit my swatch and blocked it. Oh. I need to start doing that. Yeah, because it does like in this case. Um, let me see. Well, I don't see, know the if other we thing want to skip is, to that. Yeah, I haven't but... knit anything that it really matters. Because yeah. Because recently, recently, yeah, yeah. I've been knitting so and many that shawls. That makes a difference. Um, like this is my yeah. swatch. For it's not very yeah, big. So I get it. What I shouldn't have. I should. I should have done it larger for sure. I should have done it larger. Yeah, but it was so but small. But I, I was I swatching for. Um, more for less for gauge and more for feel so see like feel how that one's been washed and mm -hmm. when you wash it you're not supposed to like pin it out you're supposed to just like Lay let it do its of... thing huh really yeah i so... would think you would because don't they say wet block it like wet yeah block wet, wet it but like you swatch? can block it but like you're supposed to let it do its thing so if it's going to shrink up you're supposed to let it shrink huh. up or if it's huh. going to so I don't okay. know if you'll be able to feel the difference. Uh, you probably a little can't. Bit. A little, little bit. bit. Yeah, a little bit. It gets drapier and yeah. bigger and fluffier. So anyway, we can talk about this later. No, this no, is no. My show whip. it, show it, show it. Uh, mm -hmm. One of my whips. Uh, this is the Sunday tea. I've talked about it probably every single podcast for the last. <laughs> it's slow going because <clears throat> it's, it's teeny weeny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's teeny weeny on a size two needle. Yeah, but, but you're getting there. Come on. We need to like start a. A calendar with this or something. Yeah, yeah. I finally <laughs> put a progress marker in it, and just a, a little lightweight progress marker. I didn't want to put a heavy one in, but yeah. How long has it been? Like, did, was that? Did you oh, put that the progress just the other day? So you put the progress marker in the last time you were knitting on it. Yeah. Okay. A couple well, that's days good. ago. And are these your signature? At, signature no, what these are, those? are Knitter's Pride. What are they called? Knitter's Pride, the Knitter's Pride knockoffs. Um, <laughs> the Knitter's Pride knockoffs. <laughs> not what they're called. Uh, I'm sure that's what they are. I mean, the signature knockoffs. Yeah, the signature knockoffs. Signature knockoffs by, by Knitter's Pride. Pride. Um, what are they called? I My mind is going blank. I apologize profusely. I am profusely. so glad that you are on my <laughs> boat this time because usually I'm yeah. the one. <laughs> so this looks tiny. I did try it on somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. And it fits, but we'll see how it goes. It's I have a ways to Is go. It, what's the ease? How much ease do you have on that? No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like we'll the find pattern. Out. Like, does the pattern? Is it supposed oh, to I'm fit sure snugly? Mm, yeah, no. but it's not supposed to be like huge. But oh, I needed to say one other thing about my jelly craft. This done. is the pattern for the Sunday tea, and so I keep plugging away at it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that. But that's one yeah. that like it definitely. Washing it definitely influences mm -hmm. the finished product. So I think right. it's just varies. I don't think you have to wash everything. Right. Okay, but. so one other thing I wanted to share with my Julie's wrap was that. So my mom taught me how to knit. She taught me how to knit continental. Not so that you weren't throwing your yarn. And one of the other things she taught me to do was slip my first stitch. So that my edge looks nice and clean. So... With the Julie's wrap, I slipped my first stitch, not thinking about the fact that I was going to have to pick up. Yeah, it's and harder to pick up. Isn't it is. It, it yeah. is harder to pick up because you don't have a little nubby mm -hmm. to pick up into, mm -hmm. and you're, then you're worried like, oh my gosh, is it going to be too flimsy? However, I am so happy. Yeah, it looks nice with the way this looks. It's a lot of stitches to pick because up because it. Oh, 
um, because it just looks nice and clean, I felt like. Mm -hmm. So while it was painful to pick up, um, and it took me more than one sitting to pick up all the stitches. Oh, yeah. I actually like the way that turned out because yeah, it doesn't pretty. look so mm -hmm. left sidey. Mm -hmm. You know, it looks more... Yeah, it's neat and tidy. You know, so that if I if I accidentally use it on the wrong side, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. So, anyway, so I, I really like that. How exciting. That. Yeah! So, anyway. So, I was, I'm just so happy. And, you know, I'm in my pink mood. Mm -hmm. I'm pink. <laughs> and the pink and gray. It's beautiful. The pink and the gray. So anyway, and it's so, gray, so I can actually wear this. Although for all of you that are watching me put something like this on and are sweating, my apologies. And me wearing an alpaca sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, where I work, just a few miles down the road, oh. I've barely seen the sun all week. Yeah, because I mean been the foggy. sun just doesn't come out. Yeah, it's, it's foggy. Yeah, yesterday was sunny and beautiful. I never get the clothes right. Yeah. I, I'll think, oh, today I'm pretty sure it's going to be sunny there. And then I wear a dress, and then it's You're freezing. freezing. Yeah. And then the next day I wear yeah. wool pants, like yesterday, and oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I never get it right. You just need to have like a, two sets of clothes. It's true. I keep like a sweater thing there, and I always have a shawl or something in my bag. Have you seen Crazy Rich Asians? I have, <laughs> but I fell asleep. Yeah, they, there's that one scene. What's that? That Asian actress's name that's also the comic. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. You know who I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Oh, she's got the best name, too. Aquafina. Aquafina, right? She So she's in the movie, and in the one scene, she drops off the main character at a big party, and the her boyfriend says, well, why don't you stay? And so Aquafina oh, opens yeah, up her trunk. Yeah, yeah and, and she, she has, has all like, the all these outfits. You just yeah. need to be that. Yeah, that's right. You just need to be that. That's true. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, okay, so okay. am I going on now? Yeah, it's you. Okay, so, okay. So, again, going back to our, all of our um, Ravelry people that have answered our birthdays and liked us. Yeah, and, and we'll have to explain that for people who don't oh, know. Oh, yes, we'll, we'll get into that in a sec. Um, so, one very nice lady um, sent us a question on our show notes, I think it was. Um, asking, Which I have to say are just sketchy on my part. Well, I'm not. I'm not great at it. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. You know what you need to do? Just send them to me, email them to me, and I'll just cut and paste. I just have to make sure I always sure that try I to that. link them to my project, though, oh, so then they don't cut and paste that fancy, way. Though. Yeah, I always okay. try to link it. Because so I that... put the little brackets in and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, they don't cut and paste that way. You're absolutely yeah. right. You have to go back in and... Yeah. 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 So, anyway. well, anyway, well, okay, so we'll talk we'll about that. We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, so this one woman asked about this project that I had referenced, um, my, um, what is it called? Uh, studying Texture Shawl. And you know for sure that's the one she I, made? I'm almost positive. Okay, cool. I'm almost positive. I love this shawl. This oh, okay, yeah, it's beautiful. So, so I have to say this is rivaling this one. Although I've got the gray one too that I still need to show, but I'll show that on another podcast. This was like my first serious shawl, and I have gotten more compliments on this shawl, and I am shocked and amazed. I went on Ravelry to look up who did it, and it's the Primate Knitter. Is that it? Knit the Knitting Primate. Excuse me. It's called A Study in Texture. And I'm shocked because there's only 19 projects on wow. Ravelry. This is the best shawl as far as I'm concerned because it is so much fun. It's a triangular shawl. Am I, do I have it backwards? Yeah, no. No. And every section is a different, um, it kind of focuses on several different knitting stitches. It looks a little bit greenish here, but it's actually It's mustard. a gold. Yeah. Like a golden. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and there's a ton of different textures. I mean, you've got like your regular stock in it and you've got a seed stitch, but then you've got this weavy stitch. Um, I can't remember what this one's called. It's like a holding hands or something. Did you this make is, it bigger? I did. Well, you know me. Yeah. That's why um, I asked. <laughs> so I wanted a huge shawl that I could just throw on over a light sweater and wrap myself in and be warm. I've worn this to more, sorry, dance competitions, not knowing whether the theater is going to be cold or what. 
and I get oh, I want to show the edging. Oh, the edging is the edging so cool. It's really beautiful. It is in the pattern. You you don't do anything afterwards because nice. it's like a Yeah, that's really beautiful. Isn't that, that awesome? like kind of twisted edging yeah. is gorgeous. Um anyway, such such a fun knit. Yeah. And like how and fun. it's um pashmina, it's um Madeline Tosh's original pashmina, which she doesn't make anymore. This is, I think, a worsted weight. Mm -hmm. And I think her new pashmina is a DK weight. Mm -hmm. I think so. I don't know. Um, and I, I mean, I just, I cannot begin to tell you. This is my favorite shawl. Because it just, it goes over everything. I have had more people try to walk away with the shawl. <laughs> um, and it's really, and I yeah, made it it's bigger. Really pretty. And it's one of those shawls where you could just keep knitting it and it even has like a little bit of a modified um cable where did it go wait it's where is it there it is it's kind of like a cable so for those of you that are like oh i like that cable stitch there's not a lot of it you can decide how much you want to knit of any one pattern mm -hmm. or if you want to add something else in anyway i highly 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 recommend it check it out yeah so, it's beautiful one of my favorite ones so anyway Next. Okay. What did I finish? Well, I finished my big love, which I talked about on the last podcast, oh, yeah. but I blocked it since then. And so I think um, I'll try I it remember on now. I remember now. I remember seeing it. I'm, I'm like way show over drinking it. you. You need to keep sipping on your bubbles. Oh, I, I have no problem doing that. Oh, these stupid flies, and I have something in my eye. So let's see. This is the Big Love Sweater. Yes, I remember this. By Anka Strick. <clears throat> and I just have to tell you, this pattern is really well written. Like, there was no place that I thought, oh, what do I do? Oh. I'm so glad you said that because I've been looking at some of her patterns and I've been... Yeah, no, this pattern was awesome. And not too much information. Sometimes I hate it when... The pattern is 16 pages long when hmm. it could have been five. I don't know. I'm not mm -mm. giving a good example, but sometimes too much uh, overwhelms me. Like, just cut to the chase and tell me what I need to do. And this one definitely does that. So it relaxed a little in blocking. Like, it's looser, which is good because it was a little tight in the arms. Um, it is so cute. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with it all the way around. It started with a provisional cast on on the neck, and I'll show everyone. You can't see. You're, you're, you're just going to have to take it off because you're not yeah, going down low enough. it's too dark. Yeah. yeah, even though I'm so um, short. Um, was, there, was there shaping in this? Uh, with German short rows on the front, I can show it. So it started with a... a, a provisional cast on on the collar mm -hmm. and I originally started it with a different color than and so it's like lighter in that area you can see that my silk cloud was a different color and then I didn't like it so I switched to the darker color so you knit this all in one piece and just pick up so there was no like picking up a band after it's done like a lot of sweaters which was super convenient so the shaping was in the front like you can see in the German short rows see that's oh, where the shaping is yeah, so yeah, there wasn't yeah. shaping in the body of the sweater necessarily yeah. it was just um and there's someone on Ravelry that actually did modified it to have the outside the inside be the outside because the inside is a different texture pattern oh look at it's that little, so this is the inside and there's someone on Ravelry that that knit it so that the inside would be the outside. And she has her modifications on there. And then I heard that Anka Strick is coming up with a pattern. She, it's in test knit phase now. This is the outside. It's in test knit phase now that um, is fingering weight. So this was supposed, I guess it was worsted weight. So this was supposed to be knit in one of the lopies. I get them all confused. Not Pluto Lopi, Leta Lopi, one of the Lopis. One of the Lopis. It's like a family. <laughs> um, and Which is like, what's the weight of the Lopi? I think it's worsted. Yeah, I think this was worsted. I knit this, I've said it a million oh. times, Mirasol Siza yarn, which was an alpaca blend, and I held it double with Shibui Silk Cloud. What is that? Is that a, so it's like a funky ribbing yeah it's a funky ribbing that's exactly it's not exactly straight ribbing it's not mistake rib it's its own rib pattern so it, it you did have to like follow but it's easy enough to follow 
And so this was like straight ribbing on the back. You can see this is the back of the neck and it's like straight ribbing. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, oh, sorry, these black okay. flies. Um, straight ribbing and then it goes into the pattern. Mm -hmm. So it was really easy and I mean, fun to knit. Like it wasn't difficult. So it doesn't call to have a mohair held. No, no. Uh. it was just, um, let low be, I think. Which is like a worsted, worsted weight. Yeah. A hundred percent wool. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. it has more ribbing on the... I love that. It's a tubular bind off on both the sleeves and the... That's really... The, I'm going to have to make one of these. Yeah. I really liked it. You're the one that showed me the pattern. You remember? I do. No. <laughs> I do. No. I, I, I don't I don't recall showing you the pattern, but you I remember did. talking I about it I think it, it might stitches. have been in stitches. Yeah. We were talking about it stitches yeah. I was trying to find a worsted weight Yeah. I started pattern. it in March and you were like, oh, this would look good on you. You should yeah, do it. Yeah. I nice. think it's because I was afraid that making it longer for me. I don't think that would be a problem. You don't? But she has some longer patterns too. Right. Anyway, it was good. And I think I'll wear it when it gets a little cooler. Um, you know, for here in our weather, it's like the variation in Fahrenheit temperature is from 55 to 75 all year round. So when it's 55, I'll wear it. It's warm, yeah. you know, yeah. with the mohair and silk and mm -hmm. then the alpaca blend is mm -hmm. the base yarn. But mm -hmm. I was knitting from stash. And so I've been, you know, knitting from staff stash as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And so that was good. I can use stash. And so yeah. I'm happy. I love the color. I love green. And that's like a bluish green. And so, yeah, we need people happy. over us with fans. fans. <laughs> Fans, fans, less Those flies, more drinks, please. Why? <laughs> we were talking tequila. Yesterday was National Tequila Day, too. Oh, really? Today was like wine and cheese day. Francois sent oh, me something. Oh, I got that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we need wine an and cheese day. Where's our cheese? And cheese? Yeah, but Who needs no, an yesterday was National Tequila and Day. And, and Gary says, you guys are going to drink, drink tequila one day, and I'm going to pick you up. That's what he has it all oh, planned. Okay. I can't okay. drive after tequila. Yeah. That would be Well, ridiculous. he wants to pick us up so he can have some. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that too. So have you I'd... been keeping him well supplied in tequila? No, we're out. I know. I, I know. might have to send you home with some. I don't know if I have any, but I'll I'll go I, look. I know his editing he's job, like he's gone above and beyond. Yeah. So. so yeah. Well Warren's trying to compete with him with the technology, but Oh good. That's good. That's good. So where are we? Do you have do you okay. have whips? I have another I have I do. I have two whips. So how do you have whips? I have, well, I already showed my Sunday tea. I have one more. You have one more? Okay. So, I've decided I'm going to wing a whip. Wing a whip? <laughs> that sounds like a... Wing a whip, wing a whip. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, flies. I know, these flies. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so I, I didn't... I sh oh. obviously put this away, like, mid... So I'm doing two at a time. I'm doing leg warmers for Cecilia. So this is Sincere Sheep, Be Mine. And then this is some Madeline Tosh antler that I had left over from a rocky coast. No, that's, oh, that's from a, a different, different thing. I was, I trying was to looking see what... for that. Is this the one I was looking I do for? That yes, all the I time. was looking for that. Okay. It's that's Sincere it. Sheep. It's one of the yarns that I, I bought. I want to see what it was. I bought this at Avenue Yarns. Oh, it's yarns. Cormo Worsted. Cormo is the... Um... And I, I posted on Instagram this. I was knitting with this the other morning. This yarn feel, felt so good in my hands. I I, I don't... Think, she's a beautiful dyer of natural dyes, she too. Is. Which is amazing that she gets that color with a natural dye. And it it's just so... I don't know what it was. I think it was because I was knitting... I think part of it is because I was knitting fingering... Mm -hmm. But this and superwash is different. It's different. It like felt this is really so cool. So good in my hands. Yeah, this hand. is like real wool. It, yeah. Like without being scratchy. It felt like, like I was yeah. home. You know? yeah. <laughs> you know? I was like oh. home. I was like, oh, this is so nice. So, and I like the way it smells because you know I'm all about smell. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I bought this on my um, OIS tour around the Bay Area at avenue yarns in albany which you heard all about which on you episode heard all about. six and, and all they sent me a message on instagram which i'll talk about in a second um and i figured out that cecilia wants them a little longer than this yard's gonna get me so i've incorporated i just thought this looked like 
strawberry and vanilla like ice cream or vanilla or ice cream yeah. with yeah with yeah. like a whipped cream on top or yeah, something that's fun. so i'm going to incorporate the antler more into the pattern and i'm just going to kind of wing my own pattern um so yeah so i'm working on leggings for her fun um avenue okay so disclaimer <laughs> I'm learning all about Instagram. <laughs> so my sister's been giving me a tutorial because she's got some ridiculous number of followers um, because of her job. And so she's been giving me tips. But anyway, so I looked down today and I had some kind of notification that somebody was trying to message me or something. Well, lo and behold, um, Black Squirrel included us in their story. Which oh, cool. I had, I mean, I got this message and of course I couldn't find it because I probably got the message like 12 days ago and the story's pulled. That happened to me with Chevy Rell. Mm. I, by the time I figured out that she had included <laughs> us in a story, then it was gone and I, yeah. Ah, I was like so disappointed. So thank you, Black Squirrel, but I missed it. <laughs> um, so anyway, and then... Of course, so I'm reading this, and I'm not realizing that once you read it, it, like, poops Goes away. away. <laughs> so I'm reading it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get to that in a second. So Avenue Yarns um, messaged me and said that, hang on a second, from what I could remember, they have the Gilpin yarn, which I mentioned being at Royal Bee in Pacifica. Um, and she sent us a message saying that they have it as well. And they were actually the first in North oh. America to carry it. And that's a yarn? So it's a yarn. Hmm. It's a Scottish yarn that when you look at it, you would expect, I think, I, I think, I think I remember saying that you expect it to be crunchy, but it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. And it, yeah. it was, and it's a Scott and it like looks, it looks like a crunchy yarn. So Avenue Yarns was like the first to carry it. To carry and it. Royal B also carries Royal it. Royal B also carries it. Okay. So just disclaimer. Like, Good on you, Avenue Yarns. Yes, and for Thank you for yeah. keeping us honest. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Anyway, so that was my, that kind of, we talked about Do Avenue Do you want to talk to another whip? No, you whip go ahead. Do you have another whip? I have another whip. I have. Beat it. We need to call them like not whips, but beat it or something. You got some music that's... to go along with. It. <laughs> yeah, it's too you too close sing. to Devo. So I no. started another ranunculus, a summer ranunculus, and I think I had like this much in the last podcast. So this is the ranunculus sweater for any of you who don't know. It's been super popular. It really, yeah. It's really fun to knit, which is funny because it's it's just fun. So this is the summer version. Um, which I'm hoping it will be summer here someday. <laughs> uh, this is this well, is but it. you get summer out where you live. Yeah. So, so cute. Yeah, I'm almost done with it. It's also a twisted rib on the bottom. So cute. And I mindlessly knit too much. It's supposed to be. You're only supposed to knit if you're knitting to the pattern. It's only supposed to be 10 centimeters before you start the ribbing. How long is the knit ribbing? This is maybe. Uh, it's supposed to be eight centimeters, so it's supposed to be long oh. ribbing and ten centimeters. This is about thirteen centimeters yeah. from here to here, and so um, you'll see them. A lot of people are knitting this, and this is on a size nine needle. So cute, and it's just an old needle I had. I think it's like Enox or something. The oh. thing that annoys me about this needle is this this bend. Oh yeah. I don't mind the needle otherwise. It's mm -hmm, fine mm -hmm. for this project, but this mm -hmm. bend is driving me a little nuts. Mm -hmm. But um, the way the pattern goes is that you just, if you want to do it short sleeved, you just stop and you bind it off right here. But I didn't, I, I feel like it doesn't look very finished. So I think I'm going to pick up and knit a couple of rows and then bind it off in I cord or something like that for the sleeves. Um, but I'm going to keep sleeve? it. Well, I'm making it short sleeve. You oh, can make it either. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I made my winter version is that teal color. Right, right, right. Yeah. I remember the winter so version. the winter version is like that one. Right. Um, and so this one obviously is going to be the summer version. It's knit out of Drops Bell, which I had in stash. This is the yarn, and it's, it's got to have some cotton in it. Yeah, it's cotton fifty-three way. percent cotton, thirty-three percent viscose, and fourteen percent linen. So it's going to be I like, like a the heavy. I do too. Like trying really it on, cute. I was like, "Whoa!" You need to have that done really for Stitches fun. Midwest. Oh yeah, definitely. I will. It'll be done you know? in the next couple of days. So I can cute. probably get it done tonight to bind it off yeah. on the ribbing, and then it's just a couple rows of sleeves. 
Um, so it has a different cast on in the neck. It's a double loop cast on. So you have two choices on the neckline, a wide neckline um, or a more narrow neckline. I did the narrow neckline with a tubular cast on for my winter version, but this mm -hmm. one it was actually too narrow. So this one I did the wide version in a size nine needle. I think it calls for, ooh, oh, it's gonna look I think so it calls cute. for a 10 needle for real, but I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to do nine. So yeah, it's really fun oh, and I love Jeanette, the weight so of it. I have a, a sweater I purchased that feels very similar to this. And it's, it's a like cardigan. A pinky cream. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the cardigan is, um, I, like I, I think I bought it at J. Crew or something, and I love that cardigan. And I wear it all the time, so mm -hmm. I think I'm really gonna love the weight. You know, that was super make a excited cute cardigan. I one of these this, days. Yeah, this yarn was super cheap. I have to, I have to learn how to steek. Oh, you took a class. I remember. No, I did. Yes, but... you did. I remember. Oh, we can steek. It'll be easy. I, I want to do this too. Says the knit, says the sewer. Yeah. Okay, because I really want to do one of those Tecumseh sweaters but you want it to be a cardigan because it's not steaked it's a pull i know i know but i think i want it to be a cardigan oh it would be a, make an awesome cardigan you should you i, I really it, no problem okay oh that's me. nothing you guys like tell her that's nothing no it, no it'll okay be well you're fun. gonna help me because, that'd be super <gasps> fun maybe we could do it live <laughs> oh that'd be super because fun. they're doing a knit along i was watching chelsea pearls and they're doing it's not tecumseh it's something else Another Caitlin Hunter one? Yes. Is she pregnant? Oh, I don't know. It was somebody that I want to say that they, oh, I should be saying the wrong, I might be saying the wrong thing. So take that back. Well, if it's out there in but, the interwebs. No, no, no. Then. I thought she said it. I, okay. So <laughs> I watched this in the middle of the night and I might have nodded off and dreamt that the person, like that, that, <laughs> that Christy said she was pregnant. So I just, this is a rumor. <laughs> Do not it's start made up. <laughs> in Joan's mind. <laughs> well, because I know some pregnant people right now. But anyway, so so they're doing this thing at Rhinebeck. Where oh, everybody's aren't they doing knitting. the throwback? Or what are they doing? Maybe that's it. They're, everybody's you knitting saw something. The throwback. Do you remember? At Western Sky Knits. <gasps> that's the one I want to do. Throwback. Not the Tecumseh. I want to do the throwback. Yeah. I don't that's think, what I want to do. And you want to steak it. It yes. is a cardigan, but yes. you want to steak it. Yeah, yes. no problem. We got this. Okay, good. All right. So we, got this, no problem. we will not be, we'll buy because the what they're going to do is they're going to cut at, at Yeah. Are you going to go to Rhinebeck or are you just going to no. cut with them? No. I'm just I would gonna... love to go to Rhinebeck. Yeah, not... no, we've got to cut in absentia. Yeah. In absentia. <laughs> yeah, I would love so, to. So, yeah, no, I would love to go, but they're yeah, going to do it. Like, the they're going to oh, cut Oh, that's cool. Right you should there. do it, because so, you liked that at I Stitches loved West. I that. And so you should get the yarn so at Stitches Midwest. Yes. That's my charge for you. Okay. Go buy yarn. <laughs> Bummer. I'm good at helping her pick out yarn. She is because I get very indecisive. You're not so good at not getting lost. I mean, like, not that you get lost, but I lose you. No, no. <laughs> I the lose great thing you. about going to Stitches events I with Joan out. is that <laughs> how tall are you, Joan? I'm 5'11. And I'm 5'2 and a half. Can maybe? you wear bright colors this time? <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to put one of those flags on your head. <laughs> I just follow Joan. No, I just you don't follow but, you. But you sometimes like you you drift. No, and I'm like, where not did she true. go? Not true. <laughs> anyway, I thought we were gonna put a purple streak in your hair or something. But then I still won't there be able to go. find you because there's a lot of purple. Well, streaks it's Stitches West. We don't know Stitches yeah. Midwest. That's true. That's true. Stitches Midwest That's true. is its own animal. That's true. I feel like. That's true. <laughs> okay, anyway. we digress. Okay, so we my digress. other whip is the yes, Sunday tea that I already showed, and then you know the blue one, and then. um I finished a sock that I'm test knitting for Luli, who uh, I'll be able to show it next time. Um, it's got multiple charts. It wasn't difficult at all, and it's a really well-written pattern, but it's got multiple charts, so I couldn't do it at night after work. Mm. I had no brain space for that. I just wanted mindless stockinette right. or easy or whatever, and right, right. I didn't want to have to shuffle three different charts. And Yeah. Right. So anyway, okay. that's it okay. for me. All right. So I was dying to knit with some of the yarn that I'd bought at the stores. Yeah. So I decided to, after, sorry, I was getting all teary eyed laughing. Um, after knitting so much fingering, I really wanted to kind of just give my hands a rest. And that's why I started the leg warmers. And 
I wanted to start the Jody shawl by Hohi Locatelli with my DK that I bought at Royal B. Um, speaking of Chelsea Pearls. Look at you. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This was like the fastest knit. Yeah. It was so exciting. That's so cool. So exciting. So wait, which way is front? This. So this is the Jody shawl. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a kind of like a fade. Um, it has like this little, um, I can't see it. Um, I just started the kind of a lacy pattern here. So it's got a couple rows of that. Um, so this is the Haiku Suena in ballet slipper. I think that's the tag you just found me. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's mud puddle. Anyway, oh, here it is. I think it was ballet slipper. Yep, ballet slipper, which is so appropriate. Um, <laughs> it is. That's so, why you bought it, huh? So the, what, if, what is the, this is 80% merino, 20% viscose from bamboo. Yeah. Sorry, there goes the plane again. That's okay. So, um, so I was afraid that this was looking really, really bright pink. Um, but, and, and even up against the green, I was like, oh, not really sure. But now that I'm putting in the brown, it's kind of toned it down. So here, and I'm hoping I have enough for, um, to finish the whole thing. I might kind of have to wing it. Where did my green go? Wait, oh, oh, there it is. See, it's very small. This is the Chelsea, um, Chelsea Lux in, oh, I'm going to have to cheat. Uh, I don't remember. Rose, it's not Rose Warrior. Yes, it is Rose Warrior. I, Where did I, you see it? Right here. In the notes. I don't know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I was looking for it. In Rose Warrior. So it's this pretty. has got some really pretty pinks and greens in it and browns. And then, so this is kind of, that's the order of the shawl. So, yeah. How fun. Um, so that's yeah, gorgeous. it's, it's going to be one of those. I'm, I think it's going to be one of those. I'm waiting for spring and it's not here yet Are because you, it's still warm. Are it, you going to take it with you to Stitches Midwest? No, I think it's going to be too heavy because mm. it's a DK. Feel that. I meant to knit. Oh, to knit. No, I'm hoping to be done soon. Oh, wow. Because, you you know, so, I, I, I always have plan out. to go. I'm, <gasps> I, I mean, knitting projects, like, you have to have all the right projects in order. So, right? you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to cast on my La Bayana Me. Oh, good. That's the, a really fun one. It, yes. So, so fun. I'm going to cast on that. Well, no, not that one. No, because I have two La Bayana Me's. No, because she hasn't decided what her main color is going to be yet. So, you're talking about the vertices. The vertices. Unite. She, so I asked Anna Marie what color she wants to start out with, and she still hasn't gotten back to me. So I'm going to use that as an excuse to start my shawl from La Bienna What's Me, your shawl? Which is the the fade one by Hohi Locatelli. The really big. Oh, the rectangle yes. that you start, and then you do one side, and then yes. you pick it up and do it. Cool. Yes. So because I'm, I'm dying to get my hands on that pink, you know. So, cool, that'll be so fun. I'm going to start. Are you going to bring that? Think, I'm, I think I'm going to bring that. These are hard problems. What to take with you on a trip? Yeah. You got to have airplane well, knitting. Because you don't you gotta wanna... have sitting, sitting and knitting. Yeah. You don't want it to go too fast. You don't want it to be too bulky. Oh, I just realized a couple other things yeah. that I did. Okay. What did you do? Um, so I'm gonna put this I had my puntilla sweater that I think I showed you before and I didn't like the yeah. neckline and I didn't like the bind off. So I fixed right. it. See, so, you're so good because I'd be like, all right, we're just stuffing it in the back of the shelf. So I redid the <laughs> neckline multiple times. I kept picking it up and thinking it, the, the ribbing was too tight. Like I have a picture on my Ravelry page, but it just felt mm, too tight. So I redid it and I didn't like it again. So I took it out and I just picked it up and like did a stockinette oh, it's cute. bind off. I like it better. It's yeah. wider. And then the the bottom is this I the was, one that you finished just everything but the sleeves at stitches and you wore it kind of like as a short sleeve no <laughs> that was the other one <laughs> that was uh bb the blue mm, i love that right sweater. right 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 that's probably my all-time favorite sweater that i've knit really? i like that sweater a lot but okay uh this one i have only worn one time and it was when it's it's other iteration um this is puntia by hohi locatelli but i didn't do part of what she recommends wait, wait. 
Okay, say that again, but you didn't do what? Uh, she has some, like, lace. Oh, I see, I need to clip that. Um, she has some lace, like, under thing you're supposed to do under the collar, and I didn't do that. So, um, I haven't reblocked it since I, I did it, and it's knit out of Mad Madeline Tosh sock yarn, but, um, the bottom, I just, I was really lazy, and I bound it off just in stockinette, so it kind of rolled, and I didn't think that would bother me, but then it did bother me. So I went back, and I picked up, and I did, I do twisted rib? I don't know. No, maybe just ribbing. And then I bound yeah, it I off with um, a tubular bind off again. Mm -hmm. So I like that better. So that's fixed. So now I'll wear it when the weather gets a little cooler mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or at night. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. the other thing I did was remember the stained sweater? Yes. Oh, wow, do it show us. Look great. Oh, no. So that, that stained sweater was look at my notes what was that sweater wow. Join the sky club. blue and it was a short sleeve pattern but I had put long sleeves on this version and it was knit out of Barocco mile which has been discontinued but I found a place in Illinois that had the same the same colorway <gasps> so I think it looks cute so this is how it turned out it's completely different. You know what? Worst comes to worst, you just dunk the whole thing in black dye. Well, that's what I thought. <laughs> you know, like, I could make this darker. No, I think it looks cute. I you know what I would to... do? If you really want to do it, I would go the extra mile and pull back the sleeves and do... Yeah, it's, like, super noticeable. And, you know, you I thought the... you... But, it, but no, it's super noticeable, but it looks very, very... Deliberate. Deliberate. Yeah. That's why I'm saying if you pulled back the sleeves just a little bit, yeah, you could even pull back the sleeves, put in two stripes, yeah. and then, you know what I'm I saying? I used to wear this a lot because it's alpaca and cotton, and it's just like a super lightweight, and I used to wear it a lot. The short sleeve version, I wear a ton, but now I haven't worn it since, but it's better than a stain, right? It is. I'm I think you could make it look deliberate by doing that. Yeah. By, by so we'll see putting it in the sleeves yeah no one else in the whole country that i could find had any of this colorway mm. vanilla flower mm -hmm. so no i um, think you could totally it's like slightly more yellow i am so excited about sticking now i'm sorry I'm, yeah no it takes me a while to have things fun. sink in but I, so, I'm, yeah. yeah sticking's gonna be fun so we have stitches midwest <sighs> coming up do you I have any other things to talk about or should i give you your birthday present uh you don't have to give me a birthday present no i'm um, giving you a birthday present that's okay, wait, I have another thing. Oh, I'm so excited about these. So Warren helped me do these. Okay, so this kind of makes us official. We weren't official seven podcasts well, in. <laughs> well, a little bit. But I just, we're committed. I think that these we are We can't fun. go back now. And we're gonna include we're gonna include one or two of these in our giveaway. Oh yeah. So my husband made us these. And I want to give okay, some to so Sue. That. So Sue reached, I reached out on Ravelry and said, let's swap mini skeins. And yes. And so Sue and I Sue. are going to, yeah. So I'm going to send okay, Sue wait. one. So look at, there's even a little, can you see the little martini? There's a martini glass down there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. See? I and can the see little, it. and the little ball of yarn. So, Cute. okay. So I had to laugh because, you know, God bless my husband. Who's, um, who just finished doing the design for the, um, the nutcracker t-shirt oh wow <laughs> well and i get a little credit because i actually told him what to do <laughs> i was like no this is what i want so he was voluntold he was voluntold <gasps> isn't that a good oh, so oh volunteer i'm gonna use that i am so gonna use that <laughs> anyway so i said to him you know i really kind of would like to have these little buttons because people have these little buttons that they give out and so I got him started on the website. Well, he's like, why do you want just like the little one inch button? Why don't you get like a three inch button? I was like, dude, this is <laughs> not, no one wants that. <laughs> this is not an election. Okay? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> well, I don't know. We could talk about that, but we're not gonna. No. Um, anyway. So yeah. So he, cause he was a little bummed that it was, that the yarn ball was going to be so small. Yeah, I the, get, I get that. And the, yeah, yeah. The, the martini glass. But, but I was like, it's supposed I mean, the whole idea like is that, little... you know, people remember the name, too, yeah. because I think it's hard to remember. Oh, we have a podcast, and is it Knit One Sip TW? Well, that's the thing, or, and, they, yeah. and is it O-N-E or yeah. one? Or, yeah, 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 because yeah. I've, I actually ran into a, um, 
a woman at the uh, nail place who was sitting there watching me knit as I was getting a pedicure. And she was like, oh my gosh, you're so fast. And she actually goes all the way up to San Jose. I said, you need to just go to Monarch. It's so far yeah. to go to San So anyway, so, but she has, but you know what? I can't blame her. She's like, she's in love with the place that she started out no, knitting cool. at, which that's is nice. Cool. So anyway, um, so yeah, so I, she was plugging us in right away. Um, and I, but it would be nice to kind of have a couple of these to say, yeah, it's you hard know, it's to remember. fun than a calling card. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so I figured we'll give some of these out at. Yeah, that'll be fun. Stitches. So, so Stitches yeah. Midwest. We're excited. Stitches Midwest. I'm so excited. Did you excited. have to open your gift? Happy birthday. Well, I feel bad because I didn't wrap any of the skeins of yarn I gave you oh, last no, no, time. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't matter. So. This, is, this is like a birthday gift for Joan's birthday tomorrow, and it's a joint. <gasps> is this from you and Gary? Yes. That's why I say it's joint. <laughs> and there's meaning behind each thing that's... Oh, my gosh. And if you don't like that one, I have an No, no. I love it. No, as a matter of fact, I was just thinking we go to Stitches West and we see Amy. I'm going to bring my, oh, my little yeah. bag that her and this is, mom made me. And this one's hand-dyed um, fabric. Awesome. And I love it with the purple. And look at the fabric inside. Oh, my God. Do you oh, recognize there's that fabric? Inside. Wait, is this, did I give this to you? Yes. Oh, this is the, yes. oh, my god! Is that cool? That's awesome. Okay, yeah. wait, didn't I give this to you from Bali or something? Yes, you did. <gasps> Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. And wait, I thought it went this. perfectly. It does. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. I chose the fabric. Just FYI. He sews it. I choose the fabric. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I, so we went to um, Bali a couple uh, of years vacation, ago. Huh? Like, yeah, two summers ago. And I brought back fabric for Jeanette. Isn't that so, oh my gosh, it looks perfect. Yeah, it does. And then there's a couple oh goodies gosh. in there. You have to look there at them. Are. Okay. Doesn't matter which goodie you look at first. No. Okay. Okay, wait. The gnome knitter. I've had this for That's months. Cute. Okay. There's How'd like you... a little waffle on there. I have to make you a green eyed monster, by the way. It's been like <gasps> Oh my gosh! Look Do at you that. know what the, the pastry okay, is? Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> my glasses. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I'll put that in there. Do I know what the pastry Wait, is that wait, wait, wait. It's is it looks like a cruise chicky only yeah, with filling is. in it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm Polish. Chosen, chosen, chosen for you. Oh my gosh. So I'm Polish, and my grandmother used to make cruise chicky, which is a uh, a dough that you cut it in a rectangle and then you slit it in the middle and you tuck one side in through the slit, and it's supposed to look like like an angel wing. And you deep fry it in Crisco. Um, and Whatever works. Just cover <laughs> the darn thing with powdered sugar. And it is so Yeah, that's an apricot good. one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is freaking historical. Isn't that cool? Oh, my gosh. And those so came from uh, the gnome knitter. Let me see her cards oh my in gosh. here. There's another gift in there, too. But so this came from the gnome knitter. Adorable. I just want to eat it. <laughs> I know. Isn't it cute? <laughs> that's why last You're podcast like I was like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you have a progress marker. Oh, no, I bought it three You're months ago. You're an honorary Pollock after eating pierogi in, in oh, Manhattan. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, my gosh, my mouth I is watering. I want to go back to, I know, seriously. Oh, I have some pierogi in the freezer. I'm going to have to get it out. Ooh, okay, Savannah B. Company. Yeah, I, I'm sure you don't remember this, but we went on a yarn crawl. Well, I'm sure you remember, yes, the, yarn I remember crawl the yarn crawl in San Luis Obispo. We yeah. stopped, and we bought this exact lotion, <gasps> and it's, like, my favorite lotion. So, I good memories of oh, yarn crawl that smells so good yeah yeah it's my favorite hand cream <gasps> so wait how do you do this do you like dig in or you I, just kind of dig in because it's mine you know <gasps> okay wait so wait that's savannah b uh oh my gosh it smells so good and it's got shea butter and beeswax and almond oil and all the good things thank so thank you yeah, you're welcome thank you thank you yeah. happy birthday if you don't like the green uh, bag we no. have another no. i no. brought you an alternative no. we'll show the alternative did gary make that one too he did yeah he's I, been I just, quite the little busy bee oh yeah he made me a bag for my birthday i'm oh. not a knitting bag though it's a toe bag here i get my gray hair off you um, hey, it might be my This is the alternative one because you said you wanted a bright color no, and this one has I a like handle the green. and bright on the inside. <gasps> oh my gosh. So. No, I like the way that this 
so did he wax this? Like, he waxed it. Mm-hmm. It's hand dyed fabric that I bought oh it hand dyed, and then he waxed oh it. So is it? So this one looks because it's hand dyed. It looks much more worn than this I one. I love it's also it. Waxed, yeah, no, I like the hand dyed. Sorry, I like the acidy green. I thought I it was too. really fun. I did. Yeah. Too. Thank you. You're welcome. And I like the purple. Yeah, I know you'd like the purple, and that fabric on the inside is so pretty. Yes, and it really means a lot. Yay! I thought, I thought each gift Thank like you. was meaningful. You were awesome. So. Yay! Yeah, that's so yay, fun. Yay, yay. I've Thank hung you. on to that that darn <laughs> progress keeper for a month. <laughs> seriously. I've probably had it for three months. That's so funny. I know. I don't. I mean, <sighs> yeah. I want to eat it. And then she put a freebie in there too. That little so cute little yeah. dingle bell. So, nice so cute. Yeah. I feel so spoiled. I get to start my... Yay, and then you so, have your birthday festival. Well, yeah, and the girls are going to take me... So Lucy's working at um, at Carmel Valley Ranch, mm-hmm. and they're taking me there for in a couple days for a spa day. Nice. How sweet. So, yeah, so it's going to be fun. So, and we're all going. It's going to be... Fun. Well, more is not going, but it's going to be the four of us. So How it'll fun. be fun. Well, so, we yes. have birthday festivals in our family, and they last for a week, although... Gary's birthday is December 22nd. His yeah, never lasts guy. for a week. <laughs> mine, didn't, mine didn't last for a week either, but I had a very nice birthday festival. So you get spoiled for that week, supposedly. So well, my spoiling, the idea. I, you know what I have to say? I've been spoiling myself for the past few weeks because since I was up in San Francisco, yeah. I've been coming home and knitting. It's awesome. Excuse me, or at least I was up in San Francisco. But now I'm in like, okay, let me hurry up and get my chores done and knit. And I like never knit during the day. So I've been spoiling myself. Oh, good so. for you. Well, it's summer. So, yeah. Oh, so one um, one commenter on the podcast had a great idea. Mm-hmm. She said we should do a toast to instead of like gold stars and stuff. Mm-hmm. We should do a toast. Oh, that's a great idea. Isn't that a great idea? Much better. Keeping with our thing. I apologize. Whoever told us that. That I am not giving you credit for your like with your name no, or anything, that's a great but whoever idea. you that was an awesome idea. So, do you have anybody you want to toast? Okay, sorry, we had a momentary pause in our recording. So, what a great idea to Isn't give a that toast. A great idea? That's much better than gold stars. I'd much rather toast. So and nice. Hopefully, you all are toasting whatever you're drinking with yes. us. Tea. Um. So, toast to, toast to all the people who responded about the birthday giveaway. Yes. I'm so excited because it's so, so nice. fun to read. If Make I could drink. You can't not oh. drink. It's bad luck. Okay. Thank you. If I could uh, <laughs> answer each one, I wanted to answer each one like, oh, oh that I sounds know. amazing. Me too. But it's a no chatter <laughs> thing so that we can draw a prize. But yes. so the prize, just to remind everyone or anyone who didn't listen, is um, a bag made by my husband similar to that one. Um, similar to similar to this one. I can or similar to the orange <laughs> one. Could be the orange one if you want orange. Um, it would just surprise them. So, yeah. But, I mean, just, um, oh, and, you're not getting this one. And some <laughs> Anzula yarn. And and some of the tined? Twirl. Twirl. Twirl yarn. Twirl yarn. So, Twirl yarn and, and a couple, a couple little other goodies. goodies. So, and, how cool is that? Yeah. So, because it's our birthday month, we thought it would be fun to celebrate and just give back. Because, you know, this podcast was meant to reach out and meet people and 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 we're having so much fun yeah Yeah. it's been really fun and make our knitting group bigger Mm -hmm. and so um i'm going to be mailing mini skeins to sue we're trading mini skeins i'm super Mm -hmm. excited about that so we should be able to do that in the next couple of days and so anyway so yeah yeah, join in the birthday group all you need to do i mean the birthday giveaway all you need to do is go into ravelry and answer Mm -hmm. the question about your local yarn store if you have one or what you would love about a local yarn store if you don't have one and if it's and it doesn't have to be local it can just be any yarn store that anywhere in the world that you have been to true um we've got a couple people that have um said that they're i'm one poor woman said her local yarn store closed down (laughs) Yeah, so, I know. That's why I, mean, I felt like oh, yeah. so rude. And then you know, another gal said that part. she's an indie dyer, indie dyer, and she likes to support other indie dyers. So she goes on Etsy. Oh, so yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's no, awesome. I, I love that too. So yeah. So but I just taught Naya how to knit. Oh, that's so great. And so and Naya's I know, how old? Um, she's Cece's age. She's going to be fourteen in December. And I know how important it was because being a Navy wife. Um, we lived in Florida. Mom was in New Jersey. So when I ran into a problem, I 
I, you know, it was like, what do yeah, I do? What do I do? Yeah. And so it's so great to be able to have a, um, a yarn store to go to and get help. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times if you buy the yarn from the store, they'll, they'll give you those little like, okay, wait, yeah, you dropped a stitch here and that's why you've got this mistake. Or, you know, they'll give you those little, um, aid the little aid that you need the band-aid that you need at the time to keep yeah. going you know of course if you want to learn how to um do something like brioche thank you which i need to learn how to do me too i've never never done it yeah. i want i think i'm going to start with a hat i don't know what you all think you could definitely put yeah, it in the comments please, but i'm thinking us. there's a um there's a andrea maori pattern that's a hat that seems like pretty doable there was a shawl i want to say that she did brioche in too though yeah i don't want to commit to a whole shawl but i'm thinking a hat like that's a good way to start out when are you gonna wear a hat in monterey well exactly i have one hat no i have two and i wear them occasionally Mm -hmm. dog walking maybe but you know (laughs) there's always vacation where we can go where you i'm not going to place cold i mean i love you people that are in cold weather (laughs) (laughs) how about variation that's the way the most of the world works not yeah that's true doesn't anyway we're excited about going to stitches midwest we will definitely be either at a podcaster meetup if we hear about one or at the bar on saturday afternoon and we come um, here with them with the plane sorry yeah so it's we'll be a, area. we may be at the bar anyway sipping because by that time we might be done because what's interesting about stitches midwest is it's much smaller than stitches west i had no idea yeah some of you probably are like yeah she didn't know that but stitches midwest is pretty big and then i looked at the map for stitches west and it's a lot smaller so we'll have a lot Yes. Stitches Midwest is smaller, Stitches West is Yes, big. thank yes, you. That's okay. And so we'll that's have a lot of around. downtime. Um, yes. My sister Dina was supposed to go from mm. Tucson, but she's sick, so she can't go. Oh, no. Sad face. And then my niece Amy from Madison, Wisconsin is going, and she's going to meet yeah. us in Schaumburg. And so we're going to hang mm-hmm. out with Amy, which is mm-hmm. awesome. I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so I have to get, this weekend I have to get all my clothes in what order are you and all my what knitting are you in order. Well, I'm mm-hmm. sure I'll still be working on that, that, some, that tea. I have a word for it, that Sunday is that tea. A, is that a good one to knit while, you, while you're drinking? It's just stocking at. I mean, what what's so the worst small, that can happen? You get you keep your gauge okay? Eh, eh. Okay. If it's not, it's not. I like something a little bit bigger. Um, I'm so sure I'll have some I can't socks focus. too, because by that time I'll be done with ranunculus. But it's so small. <laughs> Yeah. Go from that to socks. Yeah. And then I, yeah, um, my this eyeballs. is my other in mm-hmm. my queue. The other next up on the knitting. Let's see. Next up in knitting. What's up? Yeah. What's in next, our queue? Next up in knitting <laughs> is the Sada, Sada Wall. Sada Wall. It is by the same designer as Ranunculus. Oh, pretty. It's, you know, I don't know why I'm in this summer knitting mode because where is it summer? It's not summer here. So I think I'm dreaming of summer. It is so, summer here. It's going to be summer. In, it's, we get summer it's in summer September. summer somewhere. That's what September, I always say. September, it'll be hot. True. True. Hot. Um, and if, uh, and so I think I'm going to try to knit this out of this yarn. Oh, back to the big love for just a quick minute. Mm-hmm. This is all the yarn I had left. Yarn oh, wow. chicken. Yeah, that's all I wow. have left. I know. So I would have done the sleeves maybe a tad looser, but I was too nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, oops, wrong bag. So I think I'm going to knit the saddle wall in <laughs> this yarn oh. that I showed before. It's tacky ripple. And I, the thing Are about you still it, knitting something in that or did you no, give up? No, I gave up because the thing about it is it's not rip outable. So uh, the other sweater I was going to knit out of it was Leone, and it's a bottom-up sweater, but then I twisted the cast on, and it's not rip-outable. It's, mm, so what happens uh, when you try and rip it out is that it gets, it gets like, knotted on the, uh, on the because big of those part. thick parts. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm just going to do this saddle wall, which is top-down. And, yeah, it's, anyway. Yeah. So that's my, in my queue. I, interestingly, I want to knit all the things everything i see i want to knit right now i want to knit oh, a yeah. soldatna crop top like I, i'm 56 <laughs> <laughs> i'm 56 years old who needs a crop top not me <laughs> I don't know what has gotten into me about the crop top. I think I watch too many podcasts for young people and i think crop top oh that's really cool <laughs> <laughs> why would 
crop top with a tank underneath. I mean, obviously, I but, but love. Yeah, I think the crop tops <laughs> look good on lots and lots of people. Just I, I don't know why I have it in my head. <laughs> Never for tops. Catherine. She would hate it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> She'd and be like, Mom, no. <laughs> no, okay. Mom, no. No, well, um, knit it for Sophia. Sophia might like it. Yeah. If, it if it was all gray and black, because she's a New Yorker, you know, so she oh. does the dark, dark, dark. Give her. Which, Andrew's feedback on our podcast, as my son, Andrew's feedback on our podcast was like, we tried to watch for a while, but like, we didn't get all the knitting references. <laughs> oh, huh. I wonder <laughs> it was too advanced for us. So, okay. That's cool. Just like and subscribe. That's what I told him. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't get all the knitting <laughs> So uh, well, He thought it was going to be all about drinking. No. I mean, the knitting is the first. trying to be like first. supportive son, you know. Um, where were we? Okay. I don't even know. What well, were we talking about? Sit there. I went off on a tangent. <laughs> on works in progress uh, not crop like tops uh, crop tops oh i want to knit. oh i know what oh, i was there you say. go what do you want to knit i knit i want to knit everything and yeah. i'm having a problem with my shoulder and i'm having like tendonitis in my elbow yeah it's not great but anyway that's another subject for another day you need to like arnica i don't know what i need arnica lotion have gary rub some arnica lotion into you yeah it even i'm thinking of in all the of the, the night oh yeah advil yeah I'm thinking of all the dancer relief. Knitting has to go on. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, gosh. So crop tops. Okay, so speaking of crop tops, <laughs> not for me, but um, I came across this. So Lucy and Macy and Cecilia. I mean, CC is good for a few pair of le of leg warmers. Um, Macy's good for some slipper socks. Um, and Lucy's okay with like some cowls or something, but. For the most part, my kids are not interested in me knitting for them. But I came across this pattern and I thought it it's adorable. Um, I think it would look great on... Oh, no. I hit full screen and it's going to take a while. Oh, here we go. I think it would look adorable on a teenager. Look at that. Is that, yeah, that adorable? Looks it looks super comfy. So cute. What's it, what's it knit Ooh, out of? I knew you were going to ask that. It's a Barocco. Um, and there's all different iterations of it. It's, mm -hmm. um, or excuse me, not a Barocco. It's Bernat Blanket Solids or Blanket Ombre or Blanket Breaks. Oh, that's like Michael's yarn. Yes. But I mean, look at all of the iterations of it. So they've got this oh, one. super cute. That looks like a heart. They've got this one, which is a little longer. I mean, just. That's oh, cute. I'm getting the light in there. Get it right in the middle of the light. I mean, just so cute. Then they have this one, which is two different colors. So I was thinking, like, I don't know. I could go to Michael's. Sorry, there we go. I, I could go to Michael's. They, they do. Mean, do they? I think they do. I'm 90% sure they do because mm -hmm. when I went, so we went to Michael's to get yarn for Naya. Mm -hmm. And they have this, I guess, knitting with these, this ultra thick yarn is in. Is a thing. Yes. So, it, but I'm guessing that I have to knit on like, 20 needles or something thick like that. It's going to be like knitting with be carrots like meme, or something. You know? <laughs> but anyway, so I don't know that, I don't know. I want to go and check out that yarn and see. Yeah. I don't know if you could call it yarn or rope, but yeah, <laughs> but I want to go check it out. How fun. Um, and you know what, if I don't like it, um, it's okay. So the needle size is a 35. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The yarn weight says that it's jumbo. Okay, get this. You ready for the for the gauge? <clears throat> Five stitches and six rows for four inches. That means one stitch takes up a little less than an inch. <laughs> That's so bizarre. It's like that'd a, be fun. Three quarters you should of do it in that yarn. Inch. Yeah. Well, like, that'd be fun. Yeah, and it's gonna be cheap. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I was thinking, like, I might just do it in that yarn. And yeah. The see, interesting like thing, as a as a like see what it's like yeah and they it says that it does require some strength though as the garment gets heavy and the stitches are huge so i, I might be great for my shoulder yeah no that would be a no um but i was thinking if i found something that was like a um an errand or a bulky and i doubled it 
I don't know. I don't think it would be that gauge, but bulky doubled but would be bul- good. Yeah, still. or mm-hmm. st- you know, I yeah. I can modify it. Yeah, yeah. But, but I love that. But pattern. if you knit it first in that yarn, I think that would be fun just to see. Yeah, like just to I see. mean, it's cheap. Yeah, and you know, one of the girls will wear it. I and... will not be bringing this to. Station. No. <laughs> I could just see you with a carry-on on the airplane. Here's my carry-on. Here's my size 35 needles. I don't think they let me on the plane with size no. 30. I mean, how big are size 35 needles? I don't even know. Maybe. Like the size of a baseball bat, maybe. I don't even know. That's crazy. So, but that's anyway, really cute. But I haven't that seen so that. Cute? That'll be fun. I don't know how I came across it talking. Oh, this one's like basket a basket weave. weave. I don't, I don't like that one as I don't well. care That's for my it as personal. much. It's too but, much. I mean, but... you get, like, all these different patterns. Fun. Um, and it's by Rust Knits? Rusty Knits Patterns. How fun. Published in Rusty Knits Patterns Ravelry Store. So, anyway, so... And it'll only take Lucy 200 like, yards at the maximum, at one size. Well, yeah, so, because yeah. one inch of... <laughs> I'm so excited about Stitches so. Midwest. Not to change the subject completely, but I just I did. It's okay. I know it's only Wednesday we leave. How fun. How so lucky are we? Oh my gosh. What I'm sorry. Your, your shoulder must be bothering it's you. It's bothering me a lot. It. Yeah. Do you want my shawl? No. I have another shawl. No. I know you have many shawls, but no. no. It's just painful. All right. Well, we're, I'm going to take her and go rub up. some arnica into her. I got to sit up with better <clears throat> posture. Yeah, that, right? that will help. Got to work on the core. I used to have this, this, my fifth grade teacher, this was many years ago, used to s- make us do these exercises. I must, I must, I must improve my bust. And she, so every Your time- fifth grade teacher used to make you do that? Oh my God, we've gotten such a long way in women's rights. <laughs> right? I mean, like a fifth grade must, teacher was telling 10 year olds that they needed must. to have bigger and then, Boots? and then other people added on to it. The bigger, the better. The tighter, the sweater. The boys are counting well, on that's, us, which that's, is terrible. Yeah, but I mean, but no, I'm she, no, that a we had to. Oh no, we had to do that. What did she tell the boys? <laughs> was this an I all girls know. school? No, no, no. It was, it was. But they separated us, and uh, she had these. We had these like exercise classes. Oh, <laughs> oh. I have not oh. brought that. I think I need less bubbles because I have not brought that out of my my memory for many, many years. Mrs. Howe, Sylvia Howe, and she was very big busted. So, oh. but that's not she that would she bend down wrong. and she would pound on the table and she would take her ruler and I mean she even broke it. And then her big she had used to wear big long necklaces. I never wear a big long long necklace without thinking of her. And then she'd bend over and she'd stand up and her face would be all red and it would be around one boob. <laughs> oh no. Was oh, very no. I, I'm, I'm saying oh no because around one boob and oh no we shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Carrie can edit it out. No, it's uh, Mrs. Howe, Sylvia Howe. Oh, she God was old her. when I had her, and that was like freaking 1960. Well, hopefully, your daughter's whatever. not named Sylvia, and she's not a teacher. <laughs> yeah. She, well, she, yeah. Well, mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. She, right. I don't think she wears the big pol- pearls and pounds yes. on the table. Yeah, she bad. used to pound like with a ruler, like serious, like in your face ruler in your face. Oh, yeah. yeah, not in my face because I no, was a good. You kid. were a good kid. You were sitting <laughs> yeah. in the corner like this. Exactly. I know you. I know exactly. You. <laughs> but uh, anyway, anyway, we digress. Um, Stitches Midwest. If you're going to be yes. there, please join Come us say hi. wherever we are. Yeah, and, yeah. We would love Come to meet you. Hi. That's the whole idea of us yes. starting a podcast. You and, know, and I have to say, this is so cool because. I was trying to explain this to my husband and I was realizing we don't like yarn stores don't, don't advertise, mm-hmm. you know, um, pattern people don't advertise yarn. I mean, if you, when was the last time you saw a yarn commercial? We don't. Just on Ravelry. It, this that's is, it. I mean, we are such an awesome community. Mm-hmm. It's just it. And to be part of this community in this way of us doing a, a yeah, and have so people like, that we have like-minded people all yeah. over the United States is so, really and yeah. and, and world. We actually have people and interested world. in watching us. Yes, from Australia, which is really cool. And people so are I just, watching us. This how awesome is? That? It's just it's just yeah, it's, it's really special. cool. So okay, yeah, well, really feel, cool. Which is the whole reason why we yes. we started it. So Stitches Midwest. Yes. Next time hi. you'll hear more about it. 
uh, sign up for the, um, if you're not going to be there, sign no. up for the give- giveaway. We're, do- we're doing until August 15th? Yes. Yes. Okay. Or August 10th. Yeah. What did you say? I, I don't think remember. 15th. I think, I think a... we said 15th and then I did 10th by accident and you said 15th. If it says 10th, whatever I'm it says. Do it to 15th. Yeah, because at this point, point I don't know. know. But anyway. I think we've gone on for a while now. We have. So thank you. Thank yes. you, everyone. Yes. We really appreciate it. See you at Stitches Midwest or we will talk to you afterward. Yeah. Bye. Bye.